Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a signatory vintage bottling here on my cask. It's a single malt whiskey from the Ben Rinnes distillery and it's, yeah, it's old. It's 18 years old. It was distilled in 1997 and bottled in 2016. And uh, well, it was bottled from two hogsheads. And those were the numbers 9,404 and 9,405, two consecutive casks. The bottle number, the bottle count had been 523. And it was distilled on October 17th, 1997. And was bottled on May 31st, 2016. So today it's close to a year in the bottle now. It's 43% ABV, it's slightly chill filtered, yes. And uh, we made a scientific investigation. There's a link on whiskey.com to this work. And uh, that showed, so we, we put samples in bottles and sent them out to ex very experienced customers. And part of them, we had chill filtered ourselves with a fridge and uh, with Kiesel viewer uh, so that we have the filtering as it was done at the bottling plants and the others were unchill filtered and well the ratings were yeah close to no difference between filtered and non-filtered there were differences in taste yes but not in quality and in the whole the quality of the chill filtered whiskies were, was better so it's it depends on, on your mind, how you think about chill filtering or not. But if you have a full blind tasting, then typically the people say the chill filter tastes a little better. Um, so there's no, no big difference in, in, in quality. It was half of a point in, in a scale of 10, I think. Um, so these were matured in hogsheads, refill hogsheads. So the color is, yeah, it's definitely the color is in the whiskey. But for 18 years, it is not too dark. So there had been other spirits before in those hogsheads. And uh, we will see quite a, well, a balance between the distillery character and the cast character. Whatever that means. Um, the space side whiskies typically are quite malty and fruity. So when Rinus is a space side distillery, there should be well, a typical uh, whiskey from the space side. Yeah, you can uh, find these or you can uh, distinguish these bottles from others from Signatory Vintage. Uh, if you have uh, a look at these two colored tubes, whether you have this copper tone at the bottom and this barley tone on the top. And... Uh, the most important thing on these bottles are is the price. This bottle, 18 years of age, uh, not a single cask, a dual cask bottling by an independent bottler, and this is priced below 50 euros, dollars, pounds, so it's reasonably priced for that age. And uh, well, there is some mixture in quality because they bottle always two or three or four casks so that there is no big difference between uh, this bottle and a consecutive bottle which will appear later uh, when this uh, well range is sold out mm. so there's an, an orange note on the top this is the second time i'm sniffing here at my glass and there's uh, now vanilla in it and caramel and maltiness and well it's it's oranges and shows a little bit of sweetness as well so this is a very very typical space side whiskey which is used for millions of liters for all the blends in from the space side and this is pure uh, well malt whiskey is the spice in the blended whiskey which consists mostly out of grain whiskey industrialized whiskey and uh, here we you have this spice in, from this blends in pure yeah mm. 
Mm-hmm. In the start, quite oily, and then rising spiciness, even going up to a peppery note in it, and the sweet oranges move over to a light citrus note, which becomes drier. And there's some, well, toast or, or corn flakes. Not the sweet ones, <laughs> not covered with, with frost, no. Just the, the raw ones <laughs> from the 60s. <laughs> yeah. Full, intense aftertaste, quite uh, complex. And a, a little bit of, of oakiness in the back, but, but no bitterness, no. So the oranges are still there, probably going over a little bit to a nutty side. Yeah. So 18 years of age with a reasonable price from an independent bottler. These are the bottles you have <laughs> to go for, and hopefully you find them in your local store on the shelf. And thank you for watching, stay tuned, and uh, feel free to share this video with your friends.